Hi everyone, Colleen here. I wanted to share a card with you today. I found it on Mixed Up Craft and I loved it. Hers was a five, um, Samantha's was a five by seven and mine is a four inch or four and a quarter actually by five and a half inch. I just um, made the sizes a bit smaller and I've got glue everywhere. But this is uh, my version of her card and um, I thought it was really sweet and I thought I'd turn it into an Easter one. The original one that I first made was this one here and it's um, using the stamp of the month for next month. I thought I'd get in early and start making some things so I did the little fish tank and just put some fish on and I used the um, it's called uh, waterfall stickles to add some glitter to it to make it look like bubbles in the water. So that's that one. It's made exactly the same way except it's just using the stamp of the month, which is really cute. But today we are using the little Easter Bunny and I've got him in upside down in his packet. It's called Happy Easter Bunny and he's really sweet. I love him. So that's the one we're using today plus the Happy Easter. That's the measurements because there's a lot of them. But don't stress if you don't catch them all because they will have them over on my blog for you to go in and I'll have them marked off as to which group they are and where they go on the on your um <coughs> excuse me your card so um it's a beautiful little card it's really simple it just folds up flat like that and goes into a, a, a standard envelope um this little piece here at the back which mine's a bit it's got glue all over it so the card actually stands like that no, it doesn't like me at the moment. It's having the space. So that little stand helps hold it up. So I thought it was a brilliant idea and I just loved um, Samantha's design. I'll put a link into the one that she made um, so that you can have a look at hers, but it's just beautiful. And on here I've just stickled um, some of the um, oval. So that's the three quarter and the one and a quarter inch ovals that I've turned in to make look like Easter eggs on the front. So it's a simple little card. Um, I've got some of it done already, just so it doesn't take too long. So let's get started. Right, you will need to have, there are going to be three panels, four panels in this. I should say four pieces that will be need to be scored. The largest one measures um, four inches by six and a half. This is for the card on the back, and this is three and three quarters by five and three eighths. This one here is the pop panel here, this section here, and this measures four and a half by three inches. And this little bit here, which is the little bit at the bottom, which is the stabiliser here, uh, that measures uh, two inches by one inch. And we'll just get the score out and score all those. And then we'll go through the other ones in a minute when we've done this. If I try and tell you all at once, it'll just be too much you'll be tearing your hair out. So on our first largest piece, we're going to score at, I don't know, where did I put that? I've just tidied everything up. So we're going to score at one inch and two inch. Now the, um, the colour I'm using here is Ballerina and the Smoothie. I've teamed those up together. This one here I've done in Bluebird and the matting panels are in Sapphire. I wanted that deeper colour to sort of pop it out. The cardstock uh, paper for this one is the Seize the Day. And the paper that we're using for this one, this one here, is this one. Uh, these are my people and I love this paper collection. I just think it's stunning. It's one of my favourites, so that's the one we're using today to make this card with. So I'll move that back out of the way. So one and two inches for that piece, so pop that aside. Our little piece is going to be half an inch, so one inch and one and a half on either end. So that'll fold like that, that becomes our stabiliser. Our next piece will be half an inch, one inch and four inches. And that will be the piece, this is our pop out middle section. So that's the bit that's going to pop out in the middle. For our 
little card piece, the stabiliser at the back, the standing card. It is going to be scored at uh, one and seven eighths of an inch. And like I said before, that is uh, three and three quarters by five and three eighths of an inch. Okay, so that's all the scoring done. Now we can move that out of the way. And we can get on with making our card up. <clears throat> so the first thing we'll do is we're going to fold and burnish these score lines. So one goes up and this one goes down. This is the front of our card, this piece here. And we're going to adhere it to the back of the card. Now the back of our card measures uh, four inches by five and a half. Now the piece of paper that I've already popped on, as you can see, goes right to the very end and it's got one eighth of an inch border all the way around there, is two inches by five and three eighths of an inch. And we're just going to adhere. See, I told you I put everything away. We're going to adhere this to the... Oh, I've done it again. Do excuse me, I keep doing this. It's not this side you're meant to add adhesive to, it's that side. And I keep doing it onto this one, I get overzealous. So I'll just rub all this excess glue off the bottom. Because we don't want that on there when we go to put our card together. There we go. Now I'll add a bit to the bottom of this section. Oh gosh, I'm not doing very well. Right. So this piece here is just going to match up at the top and down the sides, like so. And that is our card base made. Oh, everything's all sticky now. I'll have to get my rub and remove out. Hang on. Quite often use this to remove the glue off my mat. It drives me crackers. Yep, that's better. So now we're going to put, pop in this little stabiliser piece. Now I'm going to use some glue for this. So what we're going to do, and this is just Tombow glue in here. Add, a, add glue to this section and then here on the bottom of the card, I'm just going to adhere that folded edge just in there like so. Now I'm going to add glue to the other half inch section here. And I'm going to just fold down the top one. And there we have it. That's the base section of the card done. So that will stand up. But having the piece on the back will give it more stability. So now we're going to add our panels. Now, this is where it gets a bit confusing. I had to write everything down so I could remember. Because you need to put these panels on before you put your pop-out section on. So the front matting panel is... Um, four and three eighths by three and seven eighths and the paper is four and a quarter by three and three quarters and that's just going to go into this section here like so and then this little bit here measures three and seven eighths by seven eighths of an inch for the matting and for the paper it's three and three quarters by three quarters of an inch and that is just going to go on here and that fits into that section just there like so the front section will pop on later. Now we're going to use, to make up this piece here. So I'm going to adhere my panels down. Now for my squares, whoop, 
So now remember the pop-out panel measures three inches by four and a half. We've scored it at half inch and one inch and then at four inches. And now we're going to add our um, pop squares. Where am I here? On my piece of paper. Right, our matting is two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And our paper, our white cardstock is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. Now, before I adhere that down, I actually have decided I wanted to stamp the um, strokes of an artist, but I don't know what I've done with the with the um, stamp set. I know I had it before, but I don't know what I've done with it. I'll put it up on my blog anyway for you to have a look at. And I'm going to stamp that in Sweet Leaf Ink. Just the once. I want the bunny to look like he's on a bit of um, sort of like green grass. Maybe. Oop, I nearly dropped it. <coughs> Move that out of the way. And uh, which way? I think I'll go this way. So that's my little bit of green grass. There's my little bunny that I've made. Oh yes, that looks quite nice on there now. So I've already pre-stamped my little bunny, my bunny bunny, and coloured him in because I didn't think you needed to watch me do that. Right, so onto here now. Nope, not that bit. We're going to stick this all down. So we're going to adhere our white panel to our matting. I just find it's easy to put all this together this way and then put it on to the front. Now, like I said before, the colours that we've used are Ballerina, Smoothie, and the paper is the... Um, these are my people. So what we're going to do now is adhere that into the middle like so. Now this is the top end and this is the bottom. Now on the bottom end here we're going to add some glue and this bit is going to fit <coughs> right in here and we need to make sure that it's nice and even on either side and we're going to move it up and put it in at the fold line. So I'm just pushing that down into the fold line. I can come over just a fraction, I think. There we go. So that's in. Now I'm going to add some glue to this half-inch section up here. And then I'm going to fold the whole lot down and fold it under. Ooh, I've got glue on my hand. glue everywhere. So that now is our middle section all done with our pop out piece on it. So now I'm going to adhere the front panel. Now the front panel, this one here is four and a quarter by one and a half inches. This one here is four and one eighth by a better look. One and three eighths. And this one here is four inches by one and a quarter. So we'll just pop that there for a minute. Now I've got a one inch by four inch piece of the sweet leaf and I'm just going to just tear it down the middle to expose the white core in the middle. And then I'm going to adhere this panel down first onto my white. And I'm just going to put adhesive on the very bottom edge and adhere it down. And this is the light side up. Oh, I can't pick it up. Because the cardstock's two-toned, 
I can do a light and a dark. I think this is one's two tone. Maybe I've picked up. Oh no, it is. And then that one I'm going to adhere and stick down in there just like that. And the reason I've done it like this is so I can slip the little ovals in between. And I just thought that by doing it that way, it was easy for me to get it all together. And we'll adhere that one to here. And then we'll pop this one onto this panel. I've made this card for Miss Evie because she's a very pink little girl. Bonnie likes purple, so I'm going to make her a purple one. But Evie's all about the pink. Now onto this panel here. I'm going to add adhesive and then this is going to overlap so just try and line it up and get it as even as possible stick that down and that's the front of our card made so now for the back so inside here I'm going to stamp the Happy Easter in Smoothie Ink and this Happy Easter comes from the little bunny so that comes from in here so that's I'm going to stamp that in Smoothie Ink just in the middle and then I'm going to adhere that To this side of the card so that'll be down on the edge with the one eighth of an inch border all the way around and now that gives my card stability to stand up there we go now I'm going to stamp Happy Easter which comes out of the Say It In Style stamp set Hopefully that's in the middle. Yep, it'll work. And I'm going to adhere that to this panel. So that banner piece measures, that's two and a half by three quarters. And this one here is two and one eighth. No, two and three eighths. Oh, where's the... Like I said, it's got so many pieces to it. The banner. So, uh, two and a half by three quarters, and the white is two and three eighths by five eighths of an inch. Done. And I'm going to adhere that to the front of the card. So, if I push that down flat, then I know this will fit just in here nicely into the middle. And then I'm going to put my little bunny on. So I'm just going to get some 3D foam and adhere my little bunny to my card. So I'm going to get him to sit about there. And I've coloured my bunny in with uh, pale pink and the ice grey in both the light and the dark ends and with the other bunny this one here he's coloured in with um, what have I got here pale pink the true blue and the golden brown because that is my all time favourite colour that one I love it so that's the colours I've used to colour them in now for the little eggs now I've just cut out a little selection um, some have uh, are the dark side and some are the light side of the cardstock as you can see and all I'm going to do now is just work out where I'd like them to sit put 
put three on one side. Oh yeah, that looks cute. Yep, that'll do. So now I'll just take them out and adhere them into place. Jumping around. And then all I did was take the, um, I better shut that ink up before I stick my arm in. All I did was just take the, the, comes out a bit fast and I just added little dots so I could have spotty eggs and this one here I'll just add a big blob and then I'll use it to colour in And then the clear one. Come on. Oh, that's nearly empty. I'll put a couple of stripes on this one. And I might put spots on this one. And then with the pink one, I might do some stripes on this one. And then I will take my clear shimmer brush. And for the other ones, I'm just going to give them a bit of a shimmery shine. Which I know you can't see on, on the film. But that's my Easter card for my beautiful little girl. Oh, I know what I was going to do. Actually, I don't know whether... I'll do it in pink. I'm just going to colour in the bow. Add some pink glitter to the bow. That's what I did to the blue one. And that's it. That's my card done. I just have to wait till all those bits dry now and it'll look something like that. So I hope you enjoyed this little card today. I Like I said, I thought it was absolutely stunning when I saw um, Samantha's and I just thought I'd like to share my size version with you so keep on crafting um, keep yourself safe in this time with the coronavirus rampant everywhere look after yourself keep yourself isolated um, keep on crafting and bye for now